a lot of the work is based on the writer, Robert Volser, who um, was a modernist writer who um, was very interested in uh, walking and spent a lot of his time walking and writing about walking as well. And on Christmas Day in 1956, uh, he died of a heart attack on one of his walks. There's an old man who was actually living in a uh, asylum at the time and had stopped writing at that period. And um, I'm a writer and I, he was an influence on, my, on one of my early novels. And I came across some police photographs of his uh, death and this led me into making a series of paintings about his life. My paintings, uh, on, a, on a first glance, may seem to uh, be quite like a Van Gogh. Van Gogh is much more of a, um, a traditional old master in his paintings. Every corner of a Van Gogh painting is as important as the other. And in my paintings, there's great um, focus on certain areas that I think are important and others that aren't. So as a, as a passing resemblance also to the work of Munch, and actually, if you see the work of Monk, you can see when his work gets quite good, it's based on a couple of Van Goghs that he saw when he was in, um, in Germany himself. But uh, there's, other, there's other traditions in there, but I do think that they are two heights of uh, modernist work and more cutting-edge and relevant than a lot of uh, cutting-edge and relevant work there is now. So really, it's trying to pick up the mantle or join in with a tradition through, which is recognised by Van Gogh through to Rembrandt, well, de, from Millet, Delacroix, Rembrandt, and coming back from uh, through the through the Fauvists, I suppose still had, we're still clinging on to a uh, a way of trying to paint a whole world rather than a part of the world through a microscope, which is the uh, problem with a lot a lot of modernism. You know, uh, it tends to look at an exclusive element of existence and deny other aspects because I recognise uh, sadness, beauty and uh, uh, joy it's like trying to have a, a whole experience of life rather than a, a single one which can become very monotonous so beauty is a very important thing in my work but it's not about beauty this painting is of the modernist writer Robert Volser and it's um, obviously on one of his walks and it's in Switzerland whilst he was uh, in, the, uh, in the asylum in the, in, from the mid-period of his life. But I've got him dressed in a yellow suit and the yellow suit is a reference to Jan Nagel from a book by Knut Hampson called Mysteries and is a Christ-like figure who comes and causes all sorts of mayhem in this, uh, in this town wearing a yellow suit. And I actually had a yellow suit made myself and do some uh, anti-art, dada, wearing my yellow suit, the son of art. So this is like three or four personas all in one and actually none of them matter anyway. It's uh, beyond the persona, it's universal man. This painting again has the, uh, the yellow suit, which is uh, the, a reference to the son of art. The son of art, you see, is a project where the son of art is like the son of God, like Christ in the book of uh, the book of John I think it's the book of John where Christ is very bossy and is the way, the truth and the only, only you can only go to God through, through, through me so the son of art is uh, an artist who says uh, I am the way, the truth, the light and the art no one comes to art except through me so he's a bit of a jokey character full of himself but anyway, this, was, this is based on a trip to the High Atlas as, uh, which I made two years ago and it was a sketching and drawing trip and then I made a series of paintings afterwards because a good way to engage in the world and become grounded and here is to um, is to make drawings that take time to place you in the landscape where you are and bring you into the world and make the experience richer and this is one of the paintings of that period this painting is one in a series of the uh, John Amos, which is a, um, I think, the only second surviving steam tug in the country, in the UK. And uh, it was on a pontoon off Rochester, ready for restoration. 
and a, <coughs> it's an interesting ship because it was a living anachronism when it was built. It's the last of its kind. And uh, I don't know if it's a coincidence that uh, I uh, identified with that. <laughs> for me, painting is something I do because I enjoy it. So it's, for me, it's like playing, making mud pies, but maybe with better colours. So it's very much about... Uh, in, I absolutely love oil paint. I don't use acrylic. I will do watercolours, but I, won't, I only like really good oil paint with really good vibrant colours. And this might be because um, uh, in my previous going to art school, uh, I left school at 16 and I'm not qualified from school to do anything, so I was working in the dockyard at Chatham. And uh, my favourite artists at that period were the Fauvists. And probably a lot of the colour, my interest in colour, comes from that sort of formative time because I was um, copying works by making copies as a child of Matisse and Van Gogh. So colour for me is a great liberation and being able to allow the paint to, um, to do its own thing. Because although my paintings are figurative, the thing that I like most within the paintings is abstract. And that is little areas of paint and colour which have no relation. And they're my favourite bits but they're only favourite because they're within the whole, you know. So really, they're, they're, they're sort of like trying to... I'm trying to paint the uh, how fragmentary and illusionary the world is. So this is like the matter of the world falling apart. So really, it's very, it's very large pointillism.